Let's bring in Amrita Sen, founder and director of research at Energy Aspects. What do you say, Amrita? What is the risk that an escalation would cause oil prices to rise a great deal? And conversely, if things seem to simmer down a little bit, that oil might lose uh, what bid has been bought into it. I mean, look, you can obviously never say never to a number. I mean, $100 is a number. Uh, if, um, if you start losing significant volumes of oil and gas supplies uh, in the Middle East, of course, we will be going up quite materially, even though that's not our base case right now. Uh, the market will be looking for Israel's response, which, you know, we are expecting uh, you know, overnight today and tomorrow and, and so on. So that needs to be monitored carefully. Um, a lot of the uh, what's going on between Israel and Iran has been priced in, which is precisely why you've seen prices pull back. If overall the situation is a little bit more de-escalatory, then we think prices are going to hold. I actually don't think prices are going to fall mm, substantially. It can pull back a little bit because yep. ultimately physical fundamentals is why we are here today, right? The physical market was telling us crude is very, very tight well before futures prices kind of climbed to where we are today. Um, and yes, there's a bit of geopolitical risk premium, but not a lot. But the flip side is if things do get out of control, then yes, we can rally quite a bit. Would the, would the specific risk to oil uh, prices going up be twofold? Number one would be if Israel decided to directly attack the oil infrastructure of Iran. That would be one. Number two would be a blockage of the, uh, uh, of the Straits of Hormuz, that narrow Hormuz, area. Yeah. Uh, that, that, through which a lot of oil transits. Are those the ways that, that, that oil would be at risk to a, to a major disruption? Oh, absolutely. I think you've uh, hit the nail on the head, and uh, the notes we've put out have said exactly that, that, look, um, if Israel were to target any Iranian oil infrastructure, then absolutely, yes. I mean, Iran still produces well over 2 million barrels per day. Um, and most of that oil, I mean, call it about a million and a half-ish, goes to China. Um, and that's the only buyer of Iranian crude. But, of course, if for whatever reason Iranian oil was to not go to China, China would mm -hmm. have to find alternatives. And that's a big volume to find alternatives for. The Straits of Hormuz would be an Iranian reaction uh, to the escalation and if they were mm -hmm. to shut it. Uh, now, remember, Iran sends its own oil via the Straits, right? So it's not necessarily something they'll want to do um, if they need the revenue. So there is a bit of a, you know, they need to kind of weigh up their options. But, of course, with geopolitics, it's always about miscalculations, right? If things were to get out of hand, then they may not care about the Straits and shut in. But again, like I said, that's definitely not our base case right now. Absent a clear signal from Israel that it will not retaliate against Iran. And, and right now, that seems to be a big question. There seems to be some indication that there should be a response. Um, is the market getting ahead of itself in, in watching the price of oil come down and thinking of this as settled and done and we can move on? I think that's a very, very fair question. And I think, to your point, yes, so far, uh, Israel's taken its time, but it, I mean, even the headlines that's just come out very clearly says there will be a response. We absolutely believe there will be a response, but that's not the same as saying that oil and gas supplies will be lost, right? They, the responses could uh, be different, uh, and the scale will be very important to monitor as well, because I think G7 leaders and just overall even the regional leaders are trying to call for a de-escalation, because I don't think anybody really wants a, a regional conflict to get out of hand. So I think that's where the market is uh, at least thinking right now, whether rightly mm -hmm. or wrongly, that this could actually get prices to stabilize. And like I said, I actually don't think there's a lot of downside because right. ultimately the fundamental basis is very strong. Um, but yes, I think it's a very, very fair question. Very... That maybe the market's almost been blindsided.